out and about. Hey, Cor, what are you up to? <laughs> hey, Andrea. Well, what I'm up to is uh, marking off these guys. They're in their finals. We're at Universal Technical Institute. These guys are in the Ford division, and they are learning absolutely everything you could possibly know about Fords. And when they jump out into the workforce, they're totally ready to go. This is Terry Borkman. And Terry, uh, you're a Ford fact instructor. Ford fact instructor, yes. So that means that these guys are, they're, they're focused on the Ford product. So when they jump in, some Ford dealer is thrilled to have them because they've got all this knowledge already. Exactly. Yeah, we do factory Ford training. We have over 3,500 different dealerships across the country. Mm -hmm. Once these guys graduate from this particular program, they have the uh, potential to get up to 11 factory credentials. Now, the cool part about this program, it was developed for Ford technicians, not developed for UTI students. So this is a very difficult program. This yeah. is a really a high-level program. Once they're ready, they're basically a turnkey unit at a Ford oh, dealership. Man, I, I can imagine if I had a Ford dealership, I'm, I'm totally psyched to see a guy or a young woman who's got this much knowledge. Uh, lucky for us, we've also got Mike uh, Romano with us. He's the campus president here. Now we're, we're looking, this is a lot of pressure for this guy right here. We're looking over his shoulder. He's doing his final right now. Right. Culmination of about how many weeks of training? So 15 weeks of training right here in the Ford Fact program, mm -hmm. but he's in good hands. We have exceptional instructors here. Our instructors provide factory training for Ford as well. They're the highest caliber and Terry is one of our best here that we have. Yeah, so the overall program, about 65, 67 weeks, you told if me? If a student's doing an auto program with that of Ford mm -hmm. Fact, around 67 weeks, that's correct. Very good. Well, let's take a little stroll here. And, uh, you know, what I would have suggested, say, 10, 12 years ago, you give me a Ford Windstar, oh, I'll put some problems into it. Uh, if you want a test vehicle, for sure, my three girls would definitely have... Uh, I mean, you want, say, clotted milk in an air conditioning unit? We can do that for you. Now, we're looking at one of Ford's crowning achievements, the GT. Why would you have such a spectacular car here at the school? So we were fortunate enough, Nicholas Cage's brother-in-law actually attended our, our oh, really? uh, institution. And so when Nicholas Cage went through the program, he was so impressed with it, he actually donated it to our students. And we use that as a carrot out there for our students to drive professionalism in our program. So the students who provide that high level of professionalism actually get a chance to work on this type of vehicle out there, oh, which includes dyno testing it. And this bad boy will run 200 miles per hour and put out 500 horsepower. And you're going to get a chance to do that here shortly. <laughs> Michael, you're singing my song. All right. We'll see what that's like to get this thing up on the dyno, get those wheels turning at about 200 miles an hour. It sounds noisy, doesn't it? Well, we're going to get it all done here in a couple of minutes, so we'll see you then. Oh, what a beautiful car. Noisy but fun. Right up your alley, Gotta give it a name. Fox 10 Arizona Morning is back. All right. Welcome back. What Here's, a morning it's been. It has. Here's Corey. Well, good morning, ladies. Here we are. We are in the dyno testing facility with the Ford GT, really one of the most beautiful vehicles that Ford ever produced. This is sort of the updated model. It was a beautiful uh, race car back in the day, and now even a regular Joe can own it. Now, Corey, you're sitting in one of the finest things Ford's ever built. Um, what's the purpose of this facility that we're in right now, what, what do you use it for? Inside the dial, we're going to measure how much horsepower the car puts out to the floor. People get confused by how much power they get when they read it from the dealership. There's two different numbers, flywheel and to the floor. Right. This tells how much it puts out. Okay, I know you've been running around. I know you're a little uh, out of breath. Uh, think I can give it a whirl? Sure, of course. All right, well, you hop out. I'll hop in. We'll see what happens. Uh, if you get in the uh, other side, be my wingman there. Of course. We'll see... Uh, how fast we can get this thing going. Now, the good news is I can't hurt the car. That's what I'm told anybody. Anyway, um, what's uh, theoretically, Corey, what is the top speed on this machine? Uh, the machine itself or the car? The car. The car itself does 257 top of six gear. What? Yes, sir. 257 miles per hour? Yes, sir. All right, well, uh, what do you say we get her into first and see what happens, all right? You're out of dial, real easy to the clutch here in first gear. Just like going down the street. Really? Hang on here. I'm not going yet. Hang on a second. Put, put it back in first gear. First gear? And let out the clutch real slow like you're going down the street from a stoplight. Okay, you're rolling now. 
Just drive the car, go down the street. Fifty miles. 